you're not going to learn how to do that in school. So if that's the route you want to take, yeah, school is probably a waste of time. It's not important. And the video we just watched, he's right. Like Bill Gates. Gates. Ellison. I'm 99% sure that this is based off of Peter Thiel. Jobs. Dell. All dropped out of college. Silicon Valley is the cradle of innovation because of dropouts. College has become a cruel, expensive joke on the poor and the middle class. You are a dangerous man spewing ignorance. I don't think so. The true value of a college education is intangible. The true value of snake oil is intangible as well. Uh, fascist. Um, okay, I'll, I'll wait actually until the end of the video to give my opinion. Hi, excuse me, Mr. Gregory. Um, I have a, an idea. I'd love to pitch you if you have time. Ooh. Uh, uh, well, that is before uh, I just give up and go back to college. Don't do not. Okay, okay, sorry for pausing, but I have to say this. This is exactly how you're supposed to solicit advice from other programmers. If you go on Stack Overflow and you ask a question or you ask a question to somebody, they're not gonna answer. Just like on YouTube, if I ask you guys like, hey, give me feedback or whatever, nobody comments from that. But if you do something wrong or something that like pisses somebody off, then they're gonna give you advice. Nobody likes helping other people. Programmers don't like helping others. They like correcting other people. Uh, well, that is before uh, I just give up and go back to college. Don't do not do that. Go work at Burger King. Go into the woods and forage for nuts and berries. Do not go back to college. I think I have been played. Fine. Go ahead and pitch. You have until I fasten the seat belt in my car. Thank you so much. Uh, a Pied Piper is a proprietor. So I don't think it's entirely wrong that college is overpriced and all this criticism that they gave, but there is value in it. Me like having gone through like a four year degree where I did a lot of different types of programming, whether it's just learning different languages, object oriented programming, data structures and algorithms, even just basics, operating systems, databases, all that stuff. That kind of gave me a pretty good foundation. And when you graduate with a CS degree, you can really go into any type of development whether it's front end or back end, you kind of have at least the basics to be able to do that. And if you take an alternate route, a self-taught route, you can still get a career, but usually people who are self-taught, they don't spend four years learning before they start applying to a job. So really they develop a specialized skill set, whether it's like front end or back end. And back end is a lot more rare, to be honest, for a self-taught developer to go into, which kind of shows probably that's for a reason because the barrier to entry is a little bit higher, I think, for entry-level backend. I'm not saying backend is harder than frontend. I'm not saying that. Some people think that. Some people are going to comment that. I'm not saying that. But I think eventually the knowledge will kind of catch up to you, like knowledge gaps. You can fill them as you go. I'm personally happy that I got a CS degree. It didn't cost me too much. I went to a pretty average state school and I think it has definitely paid for itself. Things have gotten more competitive. It's harder to be self-taught now. It seems like companies are preferring people, one, who have a degree. Two, actually what we're seeing recently is a lot of people are dropping out of college to do their startups. And the big startups over the last year or two have been AI related startups. And I actually watched a video about this recently. It was actually uh, this video here, the truth about building AI startups today. And this is a really good video that I saw. Part of what they talked about is that when there is kind of a gold rush or a big innovation thing that happens, whether you know it was the internet in 2000, like the dot-com stuff. 10 years ago, 2010-ish, it was mobile development, and now it's kind of AI. And the cool thing about it is it's a pretty level playing field. Nobody is really that much of an expert when it comes to LLMs. I mean, maybe some people are at building them, but in terms of using them to create products, everybody is still trying to figure it out. Even OpenAI and the big companies are experimenting, right? Nobody knows. So there is an opportunity for anybody to uh, get there and 
this is an area probably where a CS degree doesn't make that much of a difference. You could have a PhD and you're still not really an expert. So I think to say whether you should get a CS degree or not is not a black and white decision. I'm not trying to make any recommendation to you. College is usually not like the best way to get the most cutting edge knowledge. And that's kind of why people complain, like, how come colleges aren't teaching you like the latest web frameworks, Next.js, because that changes a lot over time. But if you kind of look at the last 40 years, there have been a few things that really haven't changed. Now, I haven't been around 40 years, disclaimer. I don't know if you can tell from looking at me, I'm not that old. But basic knowledge of programming languages, things like static typing, dynamic typing, strong typing, weak typing, foundational concepts like uh, data structures and algorithms, even if you're not going to be writing shortest path algorithms on your job, the conceptual knowledge from those is a uh, very important. I'm actually going to make a video about that. I feel like my knowledge of data structures and algorithms is applicable to a lot of areas, more areas than you probably think. I think that's why it's taught in school, like knowledge of relational database management systems. Most colleges, I don't think are teaching a lot about like non-relational databases. Maybe they have started to now because non-relational databases have only really gotten super popular over, I think, like roughly the last 10, 15 years. But relational databases have been around for a while. They're probably not going away anytime soon. And so it makes sense to learn the foundational concepts. If you have a pretty good understanding of a relational database, it's a little easier to learn something like MongoDB. Not that MongoDB is easy. A lot of people use it incorrectly, they try to use it like a relational database. In general, certain things can more easily be learned. I think foundational knowledge is always going to be the most important. But depending on what you're trying to do, college might be redundant. And the video we just watched, he's right. Like Bill Gates didn't really go to college uh, to start Microsoft. He didn't need to. The stuff he was going to learn in school probably wouldn't have been super helpful for starting a company, for doing things that are genuinely innovative that haven't been done before. You're not going to learn how to do that in school. You're not going to learn how to create an AI startup in school. So if that's the route you want to take, yeah, school is probably a waste of time. It's not important. And especially in something like programming, there's no secrets at colleges. Whether you go to a really bottom tier school or you go to an Ivy League school, I mean, Java is the same everywhere, isn't it? I mean, there's different versions of it, sure, but like there's no secrets that they're going to teach you about Java at MIT. You're not going to learn any secrets about like SQL and relational databases. It's open source, and especially with the internet. I mean, knowledge is available pretty widely. And in some cases, professors are not that good at teaching. I mean, we've all had bad professors before. You know, you go to college you, expecting that you're going to be taught by somebody else, but really they just give you the work and you spend 90% of your time learning how to do it on your own. So in a sense, everybody is self-taught, whether you have a degree or not.